Facebook was wondering if you had any tips about the best way personally for you that you learned about values and like how to see them more easily. Uh, yeah, definitely turning your image into black and white on your camera helps a lot. It's really hard at first when you're first doing it. I mean, even you guys can see in my sketchbook here, I had no idea what was going on with the values when I painted this. It is an absolute mess. And then when I turned it into black and white and thought a little bit more about like what I wanted to emphasize and what I wanted to change, that's when I really started thinking about value. So um, you can think like if you have a lot of reds and like certain colors tend to be inherently closer to certain values, like yellows tend to be a really light value. Greens and reds tend to fall right around the midtone value. I think that's also linked to like why colorblind people get them confused so much is that if you take a lot of green tones and a lot of traditional red tones, obviously they can all be different values and you turn them into black and white, they're very similar. <laughs> uh, but it's just kind of like, it's just practice really. Um, turning them into black and white on your phone, super helpful. If you can't do that, you don't have access to a phone, try squinting your eyes. Squinting your eyes will help you a lot just see like the general values. So if you're out and about and you're looking at an image and you squint your eyes really tight and you try to see, it'll help a lot more pick out like, oh, what large shapes am I seeing here that are the darkest, that are the lightest? And it'll help you see better the foreground, middle, and background. Because when your eyes get really squinty like that, you're less likely to see the colors essentially. Your eyes are less likely to pick up on certain colors, but they're still really likely to see values. So that's another tip that you can try out when you're out there. It looks a little funny if people are around. It can be a little nerve wracking when you're out and about and you're painting and people are walking by. That's like why I like to go hike out on a trail and do it because there's less people out there. But, and people will approach you in the last questions. <laughs> and it always makes me nervous, even though I teach a live show about painting. 